boom yo 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 so i'm sitting here and i'm thinking the new version of natural selection what is it what is it why is it that some people live these awesome purposeful lives and other people don't you know what i mean you can be born with all the money in the world this does not mean your life's going to be off the hook i've been around lots of people millionaires and billionaires and i cannot sit here and tell you that because they were born with all that money their life is off the hook you know what i mean like a lot of them i can say i wouldn't trade places with um but and some of them are, i wouldn't trade places with anybody because i'm in line with my purpose but some of them have tight lives too a lot of them do but i'm just saying money is not what determines your happiness your fulfillment your success what is the new version of natural selection i see this principle in nature and i see it living and well in many different areas and facets of life and what i've noticed now is that really truly only the smartest only the bravest only the sharpest only the most resilient only the best truly will get to live and manifest their purpose while they're on this planet And the rest just won't. They just won't make it. They just will never unlock that potential. And they just will work for those who do. It's not just going to happen for you. You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to say goodbye to weaker versions of yourself. Kill things that used to be important to you. Sacrifice your ego on the altar of progress you're gonna have to submit submit to the lessons that life's giving you and to many teachers over the years you never have everything you have everything that it takes to succeed inside of you but you need you need the fight the circumstance the struggle key individuals, key relationships to be able to bring it out of you. A seed is just a seed until it's planted in the right ground. And so I say all this to say that if you want to give this world the sacred gift you were here to contribute before you go, you must be willing to face to face and fight first and foremost yourself. Stop listening to your excuses. Stop listening to the lies. Stop listening to all the different things that we do and we tell ourselves. You must be willing to face yourself. And if you can't do this, you will find that you may provide yourself enough provision to live comfortably, but invariably you will not live as happily on your deepest levels I have been t so fulfilled having nothing in my bank account because I've been in alignment with my purpose and I've been doing what I believe the voice inside of me my God has sent me here to do I've been in other countries with nothing and still fulfilled. And it's not always about happiness, it's about rightness, being in right standing, it's about righteousness, it's about feeling that, this feeling doesn't leave you when you face death, if you're doing it, you know what I mean? This feeling doesn't leave you. In fact, it fuels you to fight through things that are extremely difficult. You know, when I'm fighting for my destiny, my purpose, when I'm fighting for what I believe in, I'm not like happy, but I have a much more valuable thing than just happiness. Happiness is for like kids. Yeah, you know I mean like there's this deep sense of fulfillment, validation, and 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 this feeling of being in right standing. It's like a righteousness that you feel when you know you're contributing on the levels you were sent here to contribute. And I want every one of you to experience that. It's the difference between, you know, eating that ice cream and that pizza and or taking your shirt off 
next time you go to the beach or that pool party and having your six, eight pack. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's much deeper, more fulfilling than that even. But that's the, you know what I mean? That's kind of the difference, you know? Nowadays, I'm sure there's many people that'll watch this video and be like, yeah, well, I like my pizza and my ice cream. Ah. Yeah, well, I'm not talking to you. And you know what? If that's all you need, I'm happy for you because this other path, it yields a higher value, but it's very dangerous. It's very hard. You have to be the type of person that wants hard, to do things hard, that understands the value of hard, you know? So, yo, if your pizza and ice cream makes you happy, God bless you, and I'm happy for you. Um, the rest of us must drive on. Nonetheless, I say all these things to say, your destiny, your purpose, your greater future is not gonna happen for you. It must come through you, and you must do the work to bring it, to bring it out. And the new version of natural selection is simply locked up in the reality that your gifts, your dreams, your purpose, your potential will never be seen by this world. You will die with all of that inside of you unless you become stronger, smarter, more aggressive, more fearless, because only those people get to manifest their destinies during their time on this planet by the grace of God. Yo, check out my website, Byron Rogers Motivation. I make these videos because I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.